This year is the 50th anniversary of Dungeons & Dragons, but there doesn't really seem to be that much of a celebration. I remember the 30th anniversary and that was, relatively speaking, a, a big deal. I was born in 1975, between the birth of the two great defining loves of my life, role-playing games in 1974 and the comic magazine 2000 AD in 1976. Now this is a bit of a weird thing for me to be making as a video. Unlike most role players, I didn't start with D&D, but rather Fighting Fantasy, Merp, Dragon Warriors and GDW's games. But without Gary and Dave, role playing as we know it wouldn't exist and none of the games I have played or loved over the years would be and my life would be very different uh, to what it has turned out to be. Now, I used to look down my nose at D&D quite a bit. It always seemed crude, uh, primitive, whatever the addition. It didn't give me the experiences that I wanted from an RPG or tackle the subjects that I was interested in. But again, without it, none of the games that I have loved would have existed, and my attitude has changed and softened over the years. It's also worth, I think, noting that the first of a thing is rarely ever also the big success at that thing. D&D is one of very few exceptions. It's not just the first, it's the biggest, the most persistent, surviving somewhat intact through changes in owner, culture, format, medium, and time. RPGs nurtured my loves of language and writing and history and fantasy art. They helped people I knew with their mathematics, their English and their social skills. It gave them a place that they felt they could belong when often there wasn't anywhere else. They helped me meet and befriend people all over the world from every race, creed, religion and ideology. I met my partner through RPGs. They gave me a career and a way to support myself despite mental and physical disability. They made me a fierce advocate for the arts and for free expression as a right for everybody. Role-playing games have defined my life in so many ways, and that's not sad. It's empowering and emboldening, and I am grateful every day. Once a teacher, um, not one of my teachers, but a friend of my father's, uh, came to have a chat with me while I was in my teens. I don't know if it was at my dad's behest, but he asked me what I wanted to do with my life and whether I was wasting my time on these games. And I told him I wanted to study art and I either wanted to make comics or games. He cautioned me that I was unlikely to succeed at these things and asked me if I was sure. And I was. And I still am. <laughs> so thanks John, because it was when I was asked that I was certain. It hasn't always been easy, I've been given more reasons to quit gaming even than I was given to quit art, which I did abandon. But I'm still here for the love of the games, the games that Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson began. So from the bottom of my little black heart, thank you. And if you're listening to this, I ask you to please make your own video or podcast or blog post or social media post, whatever. Tag it, hashtag TYG and D. Keep it positive. No negativity. No bile. No division. Let's share what we all love about what we do and come together around it like I know we can. Zang.